Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be discussing the Allen Edmonds Rediscover America sale, which happens every October. It's a great time to pick up some quality made shoes that are Goodyear welted, dress shoes and boots, at a better price than usual. A lot of these shoes are pretty much about $100 to $150 off. So we're going to talk about some of my favorite ones, some of the ones that I have, and some honorable mentions, and also one or two that I'm thinking about getting within the next few weeks. Before we do that, Thank you so much for subscribing. We recently crossed 500 subscribers. Really happy, really awesome. Guys and girls, thanks so much. If you like what you see and you like what I'm doing here and you like being part of this community, consider subscribing. It's totally free. That being said, back to the video, back to your feature presentation, commercial over. All right, so I've been wearing Alan Edmund shoes for probably about five years. I think I bought my first pair back in 2015, currently making this video in 2021. I don't wear the dress shoes that often, but when I do, I really don't have a lot of issues with comfort, never have any issues with durability. They have really great options for just about any foot out there. Another thing that's nice about Allen Edmonds is they're easy to buy and easy to wear. It's one of those stores, anytime you see a Macy's or a Nordstrom or anything like that, they're pretty much getting into that same space. So you see them in malls, you see them in city centers. They're very, very accessible. You can order them online. And it's also nice because if you need shoelaces or shoe trees, it's a one-stop shop. All right, kicking things off with my first ever dress shoe from Allen Edmonds. That is the Black Capto Park Avenue. Really, really nice looking shoe. This is kind of the quintessential first dress shoe that everyone gets. I wore them recently. Got a polish them up a bit. So if you read style forms or anything like that, or anyone says, if you ask anyone, oh, what kind of shoe should I buy for my first shoe? A lot of them are gonna say, get a black Oxford, get a black cap toe. Reason being is because you can wear this with a tuxedo. You can wear this in a very formal situation, but you could also start to dress it down with a navy blue suit, a true blue suit, a gray suit. So the Park Avenue cap toe Oxford starts at 395. 395 US dollars that is, and it is currently on sale for $276.50. Where they came up with 50 cents, I'm not sure. Why couldn't they just round it up to 75? Who knows? It's on sale for a little bit more than $100 off. And if you're looking to just start out your wardrobe, you want a shoe that's gonna take you through interviews, weddings, any other formal events, and you wanna just make sure that it's all gonna be appropriate, not gonna be too light of a brown, too dark of a brown. Absolutely pick up a pair of the Park Avenue Cap Toe Oxford. Absolutely a great value if you're just starting out. All right, now the next shoe we're gonna talk about is gonna be the Fifth Avenue Cap Toe Oxford. Similar in style, it's still a cap toe. Actually, it's made on the same last, which just means that it's the same shoe, it's just up here is different. This is what you call a quarter brogue. So it's got a little bit of that detail right there, just a little bit. It really does bring them down make them a bit more casual, makes it a bit easier to wear with khaki colored chinos or jeans and a sport coat like the one I'm wearing right now, but it still maintains that formality that you can wear this pretty much all the time with a suit. The only time you really can't wear this is with a tuxedo or when you absolutely have to wear black shoes. This is a great versatile all around dress shoe. List price for these is $395, typically any time of the year. I think they're typically gonna go over for around $350, $345. Allen Edmonds likes to call this the timeless classic. That's a bit better of value. These are currently $237, $350 to 237. It's a little bit more than $100 off. This is a great second pair of dress shoes, especially in this color, dark chili. It does come in walnut, but I would say stick to black and dark chili because black is gonna be able to be worn in almost all situations. Well, it, it is, it is traditionally the most versatile shoe. Whereas the dark chili, as you can see, it's pretty light in color, but it's not so light that it's going to just pop out at you. You can still dress it up with jeans. It's not gonna overtake your entire outfit like the walnut colored shoes that a lot of guys like to wear and just kind of jumps out at you. These are really great shoes, especially if you get them in a day night sole, it's just going to make them a bit more comfortable, a bit more weather resistant if it just rained and the ground's wet and you still wanna look stylish. I should mention the day night sole version is a little bit more expensive at $255 versus $237. So you figure about 20 bucks, a little bit less than $20 uh, added onto that. But the day night sole is extremely durable. It's gonna last you a lot longer. It's well worth it. It's up to you if you guys wanna have day night soles. Your choice, either one. Can't go wrong. Kicking it off to one of my favorites, if not my absolute favorite dress shoe. It is the Allen Edmonds McAllister Wingtip Oxford in Dark Chili. Retail price $395, currently on sale for $276.50. 
This is my favorite dress shoe. I really enjoy the wingtip design. I really like how big and bold it is over here. It really does look like it's a nice, beautiful, beautiful shoe. I've never seen a wingtip or full brogue, which these little hole punches in the leather, it's called broguing. I've never seen a wingtip that looks so good, so evenly spaced, everything like that. The way they came around here and just made sure the lines are nice and parallel. I mean, everything about it is just, it's just a great looking shoe. I don't wear it enough, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing it a lot more. I used to have it with rubber soles, but I decided to rip the rubber sole off because I pretty much would rather just not beat it up and wear it for nicer occasions. As far as color, of course, I like the dark chili color. I think it's the most versatile. You can go with these in black too, if you're into that. I used to wear black wingtips a long, long time ago when I first got into wearing nice shoes. The dark chili color does make the wingtip actually be seen a lot more. You can actually see all the detail of the shoe. These actually do look good in the walnut color as well, especially some of the walnuts come with the burnishing up here. When you go with walnut, you are losing out a little bit of versatility because it's kind of only a summer shoe and it's always gonna jump out at you. And sometimes you don't always wanna be wearing these highlighters on your feet where it's gonna overtake your entire outfit. The dark chili actually is that you're able to blend in the entire outfit, but then when it hits the sunlight, it still pops. You can still see all of the detail of the beautiful brogue. So because this shoe is so heavy with the decoration and the design, compared to the Fifth Avenue and the Park Avenue, it's the least casual. However, because I like the shoe so much, wingtips are very dressy by today's standards, I would not hesitate to wear this with a suit. And the only time I wouldn't wear this is if I had to wear black shoes, which is what my Park Avenues are for. Wearing a tuxedo, formal morning dress, business meetings. This will fit into almost any situation. A lot of people say that you shouldn't make the wingtip shoe your one and only dress shoe, but I can say, I feel very confident in them, and I really enjoy wearing these with a suit, with a sport coat. You could also wear them with a leather jacket, jeans, maybe even a t-shirt if you're really brave. Can't go wrong, beautiful looking shoe, very, very handsome, one of my favorites, and killer value. And now here's a shoe that a lot of you that have been watching the channel are probably familiar with. It is the Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill Boot. Current retail price is $445. They're on sale for $311.50. So they're on sale for almost about $150 off. That's, that's a pretty good thing. And I bought these shoes in 2016, five years ago. I paid $250 for them, which was a great deal. They had just came out. I got them rehealed once. The heel was worn away. I paid $50 for that. So these are due for a resole. I'm actually probably gonna get that done pretty soon because we're pretty much approaching fall and winter. Overall, boot is absolutely a beast. It's got some black markings right there. This is the Horween Chrome XL leather, if anyone is wondering. Really durable boot, really comfortable. Sometimes the day night sole, there's not a lot of shock absorption. So after a long day walking miles and miles and miles, it can get a bit uncomfortable, but in my experience, no shoe, sneaker included. You're walking 10 miles, your feet are gonna hurt. This shoe, absolutely great. Very, very popular. And Allen Edmonds boots don't get as much credit as they deserve. They're pretty much rivaling the Red Wing Iron Ranger or Wolverine boots, but they have great quality. They really put an emphasis on comfort. And that sleek toe, you really can get a lot more out of this boot than the Iron Ranger with that big bulbous toe cap. Absolutely one of the best boots I've ever bought. This is super versatile. I've walked miles and miles and miles in them. Like I said, they are due for a resole. They do make these in a bunch of different leathers now, including weatherproof. So if you don't want to get wet feet, if you're out there in the rain, absolutely give that a shot. I wouldn't want to wear a nice boot like this in the snow with the salt and just totally destroy it. That's just me, but there are options out there. But absolutely, I can say this is probably one of the best shoe purchases I've ever made. And here's another boot that I've done a video on, and that is the Allen Edmonds Dalton Wingtip Dress Boot. Manufacturer suggested retail price is $445. They are currently on sale for $322.50. So again, we've got that dark chili leather, which my absolute favorite, the most versatile color you can get for a brown shoe. Double leather outsole. It is call, actually called a double leather oil infused butyl sole. So what that means is it's a double leather sole, very, very, very comfortable. And the butyl sole just kind of is a treatment as far as I understand that helps with the water resistance. So if you're kind of walking around and the ground's a bit wet, it's not gonna to totally chew through your leather soles like it would be on one of the dress shoes I showed you guys. 
I still wouldn't make these my rain boots. I'd only I'd keep walking to a minimum if it's wet outside. But I have had them for a couple of years and I'm tired of babying them. So I'm just going to start wearing them a lot this winter. And once I wear through the sole, I may resole it with either a rubber tap sole or a day night sole just so I can get that durability that I get from my Higgins mill that I just showed you guys. Calf skin leather, very comfortable, very lightweight. This is a shoe when I first put my foot in and I walked around the store, I couldn't believe how comfortable it was. That leather sole, that double leather sole gives a lot of cushioning. One of the most comfortable shoes I have guys, I'm telling you. Great time, it's a great value. You can really dress this one up. It does look a bit dainty sometimes, but as long as you're wearing slim fit jeans, slim fit chinos, whatever you, you know, slim fit pants, should be good. You could wear them with a suit if you want. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. I don't really have to wear suits a lot. A great option, especially if you like wingtips like me. They do come in day-night soles and they do come in some weatherproofing leather as well. Again, you can wear them if it's a little bit rainy outside. This does look good in the walnut color as well. Again, though, the walnut color, you do lose out a little bit of versatility because the walnut just seems to overtake your entire outfit. I wear kind of a lot of blues, browns, and sometimes grays in the winter, so adding something like a bright tan walnut just kind of makes it pop. But the walnut color is a great way to spice up your otherwise neutral colored winter outfit, the one like I typically wear. You do get more with the dark chili though, so just keep that in mind. A great option, the Allen Evans Dalton wingtip boot. All right, so those are the boots to the shoes that I currently have. Now I wanna go through a couple of honorable mentions that I've been looking at. And the first one, we are going to put a picture right here, and it is the Allen Edmonds Patan Cap Toe Boot. So manufacturer suggested retail price $445, sale price of $289.25. So this boot is a great boot because I happen to like cap toe boots. Pretty much it's a merge between my Red Wing Iron Rangers and my Thursday Captain boots. So they took these two boots and kind of put them together. And they added a couple of things like a full, an actual day-night outsole and they added some weatherproofing as well. So this is a boot because it's under $300, I most likely am going to pull the trigger on it just because I want something that I don't have to worry about. It's going to kill my feet if I'm walking 10 miles. If it gets wet out, like if I'm stuck in a rainstorm, all of a sudden my feet are soaked. Never a good time doing that, guys. And just a boot that I can actually wear casually as well as dressy. And yeah, it is a pretty high price, even on sale. Well, on sale, it's actually below $300, so it's actually cheaper than the Iron Ranger. I'm pretty big on versatility, comfort, weatherproofing, all that stuff. A boot that you can wear in almost all situations. You could even dress it up a lot more. A boot that's gonna resist splashes of rain, and a boot that has an outsole that's gonna wear like iron. Absolutely, I think even at full price, $445, they're worth it. And the comfort too, like I said, it's basically the Higgins Mill, with a different toe cap as well, a different upper. That's, a, that's one of the boots I'm looking at, I'm most likely gonna pull the trigger on. Great option if you guys are looking for a versatile, tough looking, but comfortable, waterproof cap toe boot. Another one that I was looking at too was the Porter Derby sneaker. They always came in a navy blue or a walnut color, but then they released it in my favorite color, dark chili. I looked at this in the summertime, I was gonna pull the trigger, but $255, I kinda wanted to wait for a sale. But then I found the Cole Haan 4.0 grand sneakers, which I'm actually wearing right now. I don't really feel the need like I'm going to get this. Maybe I'll get these Port of Derbies next year, the year before, year after, because I felt them in my hand. They are a bit heavier than the Cole Haans that I have, for example, but they are a little bit more sleek and a bit more stylish. And that leather is really nice. It's a really beautiful color. And these sneakers do come in other colors, so feel free to go to the website, take a look. I know we're going into fall, but it's never a bad idea to have a good quality pair of leather dress sneakers around. And of course, we have to mention the Strand Capto Oxford. When you think Allen Edmonds, this is probably the shoe that you think of. It's that bright walnut color. It's a really nice broguing. The shoe looks really good. I've tried these on a couple times, but I never ended up pulling the trigger. These shoes are kind of like a little bit in between where I'd rather either just go full dressy with the Parker Fifth Avenue or just go with the McAllister or just wear a boot like that. But a lot of people like this shoe. It's still super versatile. If you're looking at it, it's a great time to buy it. Manufacturer suggested retail price is $395. It is currently on sale for $276.50. So you can pick them up for about $300, $300 including tax. So if it is a shoe that you like, I know a lot of guys really like the shoe. Wing tips aren't for everybody, I understand that. Now's a great time to buy it. I would say seriously consider getting them in dark chili though because when you're in the mood to wear a walnut shoe, it's great. But then when you wanna just wear a shoe 
and not worry about it and have the shoe blend in more, it kind of doesn't really work as well as something like a dark chili or a darker color brown. Seriously consider that. Am I gonna get this shoe? No, I'm not. It's a bit redundant for me. If you guys like it, great time to buy it if you got the money to spend. And last but not least, we're gonna mention Swim's Classic Overshoes, more commonly known as galoshes, not galoshes, like I used to say. The reason I put these on the list is because I always looked at these and for example, Dalton dress boots. I really like this shoe. However, if it's raining cats and dogs, I don't want to wear it. So this ends up staying in my closet a lot more. Now I've spoken to people at Allen Edmonds before and they tell me, well, why don't you just put a pair of sneakers in your bag? I'm not a fan of that. I do not think you should be carrying two pairs of sneakers or a pair of sneakers and no, 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 no. Not my style, not my groove. I think it's a waste of time. Carrying two pairs of sneakers is a pain in the neck. I don't think anyone should do it. But the, the overshoes, what they'll do is they can fold up to a point where they're almost like a laptop or like a little folder. And you can throw them in your backpack and your work bag. And you don't even know they're there. But then if it starts to rain like crazy, you still, it's still just slip them over and go ahead and go about your day. You're not gonna damage the outsole. You're not gonna damage the uppers as well. So these are a really great thing, really lightweight. Throw them in your bag. You don't even know they're there. A lot easier than carrying around even a lightweight pair of sneakers because they take up a lot less space, especially since usually they go on sale for $95. That's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Currently on sale for $66.50. I'm probably gonna pull the trigger. I know you can get other galoshes or overshoes for 20 or 30 bucks, but I prefer to get something a bit higher quality because you can feel it when you put it on. It's not gonna scuff it. You don't want them to leak either and just get like a pool of water in there. It's, leather doesn't like water. Not really a necessity, but gonna make life a bit easier when I'm wearing something like this. So guys and girls, that's about it. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. That's the Allen Edmonds Rediscover America sale. It is going until October 28th. So you've got about, you got a good solid two to three weeks. Actually, you almost have three weeks pretty much. It's, it's a three week sale. So if it's something that you're thinking of getting, if you liked a shoe, if you saw a dress shoe, a sneaker or a boot, now is a great time. Uh, as long as you can afford it though, that is, you don't wanna go broke wearing all this nice stylish stuff that's pretty much just all fashion anyway. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will talk to you next one. Bye.